Well, hello everyone and welcome back. I'm Farah Sheikh with you and in today's Excel video, we are going to learn how to find the leap year. So let's work it out together, my friends. So let's assume that we have this date 1-1-2019, which is not a leap year. Now to find the leap year, the most important thing that we are going to extract the year from this date. So I'm going to call the year function here and simply we are going to extract the year from it. Once we have the year, now we are going to take this formula and we are going to construct a date function which says the leap year date, which is 29th of February. So I'm going to say date, comma, and the month is 2, comma, and the day will be 29 because that's the leap year day. Close parentheses. Now, the beauty of the date function is that if I accidentally wrote an incorrect date in the case of leap year, it will automatically correct the date. Now, since we know that 2019 is not a leap year, as soon as I will hit enter, I get 1st of March 2019. Let's see for 2018 and let us change it to 2020. Enter and we got 29th of February because 29th of February 2020 is a leap year. So now we just need to extract the month from this formula. So we are going to wrap it in month and just close the parentheses, enter. And now you must be seeing that this is number is something having a date, but we'll change it to general and we got the month number. Now let us change again to 2019. So this month is three. Now we are going to put a simple logic which says if this is equal to two, it should be true. And let's put 2020. So that's working fine. This is what we need. Now I'm going to wrap this logic into if statement and say that if this is true, comma, call this as a leap year, comma, if the value is false, call this as not a leap year. So let us cross our finger and I will hit enter. Boom, that's a leap year. Let's change the date to 10, not a leap year. Wow. So let us look at our second method over here. Now in the second method, we are going to construct the date range from 1st of January 2010 to 1st of January 2011. And we are going to subtract the date. And if we get the value 366, that means it's a leap year. And if we get the value 365, that means it's not a leap year. Let me change the date over here, like saying that third and somewhere like 2019. So let's go date. And again, we are going to call year. And we are going to extract the year from this one and going to add one, which will change my year to 2020, comma, one, comma, one. That's the date range we needed. So we got it, this date and I'm just simply going to do it again, date. And we are going to call the year function again, select this date, comma, again, the month as one, comma, one. So we get 365 days. So now I'm going to simply minus this date 2020 with the date of 1st of January 2019 and we got 365. Now let us change the date which has a leap year like 27-7-2020. Wonderful. So that's 366. Let us push it back to the old date. It's not a leap year and you saw the number has also changed. So with this formula, we have just generated the last date, that is the end date and the start date. It doesn't matter if whatever the date, if I enter over here, the year remains the same. So it will automatically do the calculation for us. And let me copy this formula from here. Control X. Let's go over here. Minus with this date. Enter. Uh, you must be seeing this number as a date, but exactly it's a value. So. We are going to make it as general, 365 days. And now we are going to set the logic for this one going and saying that if this is less than or equal to 365 days, enter. That's true, my friends. And now this logic, we are going to wrap it into the if statement, if, and this is my logical test, comma. And if it's true, call this not a leap year, comma. If the value is false, call this as a leap year. I'll just set the year in capital. That looks nice. Close parentheses. Enter. Let's change the date to 20. Wow. 
Let's go and add some new data to our data set. Now let us pull down this formula. Wonderful. Isn't that amazing my friends? That is super cool. So I hope my friends you have enjoyed this video. So please make sure that you push that like button, share this video, subscribe to my channel and do let me know in the comment section what you'd like to see and what you like about this video. And the soft copy of this file will be available on my Facebook group page. So feel free to download from there. Signing off for the day, your friend Farashi. Till then, take care, happy learning and have a great day. Bye.